Hello, we are back, we're at the table, and we have something new. Um, we've got us a little blaster of the Book of Boba Fett from Season 1. Full disclosure, uh, have not watched it. Uh, I am behind massively in my uh, Star Wars watching stuff. I did see... Okay, you're being difficult. One moment! <laughs> I actually have seen, um, what, The Mandalorian, I think the first two seasons. I have not seen The Book of Boba Fett yet, but always time to catch up on some stuff. And I've seen some of these be opened, and I really, really like the way they look. So let's see, 10 packs plus one commemorative patch card. Well, now you're speaking my language. Approximate odds, there's all this fun stuff, if anybody would like to read it. Let's see. Uh, one commemorative card. 61 cards inside. Packs with special insert may contain only one card. Well, let's hope there's a special insert, because I am very curious as to what lies inside. Oops, almost knocked the universe over. So we have... One, two, three, four... Six, seven, eight, nine, ten packs. Let's get into it and let's see what we got. And for people that know this show, uh, please explain to me. And I hope I don't make a complete the fool of myself. But we're going to get into it and I can vamp about cards. Aww. See, when I first heard of the, the Baby Yoda, or Grogu as it were, I was like, aw, Baby Yoda. And I'm still going to call him Baby Yoda. Just cause. Oh, look how cute he is. Peers from his cockpit. He's a little cute. Ooh, little baby Yoda. All right. Moving on. Ooh, it's a nice looking. We got uh, probably a subset. I, Kurt, Kurt, Kersentan? I'm sorry. I'm not, uh, not familiar with uh, too many of the other Wookiees other than Chewbacca. I assume that's a Wookiee. But we have the Ferocious Bounty Hunter. Okay, yeah. So, Bounty Hunter Wookiee. I like it. Looks like an insert. I dig it. Dealing with the Order of the Night Nightwind Assassin. Photography. I mean, I th assuming it's coming right out of the show, but the photography is beautiful. N uh, bad News at Garza's Sanctuary. And a fearsome Tatooine Sand Ape. That... Yeah, no. I could go my life without having to run into these. One of those, I should say. Pack number two. I like this. I like this, and I cannot wait to see what our patch card is going to be. I'm going to pull the old, uh, hold it till the end. Boba Fett and his Rancor stare down Cad, Cad Bane. When did he get a Rancor? I want a Rancor. Certainly cut down my uh, waiting time in traffic. Boba Fett relives his struggle in the Sarlacc pit. Oh, I remember that. Maybe some sort of blue? I think we do have a blue here. Explosion at the Sanctuary. Let's see. These are nice looking. And I, I think that is blue, so I'm going to assume that it is. It looks good. Ooh, here we go. From Boba, Boba Fett's arsenal, the Z6 jetpack. Nice. Um, it was so nice, I'm going to drop it. Mandalorians often use jetpacks as part of their arsenal. I remember that from the show. Boba Fett is no exception. Use the pack to fly over short for short bursts to gain tactical advantages in combat. That would help. And employed the Z-4 jetpacks rocket launcher to take out targets like enemy vessels. They, I will say this, the, the Mandalorians were loaded for bear at pretty much all times. Surveying Garza's Sanctuary... And our final one for pack two, closing in on the train. God, they really did. I have to say, and this is for a mark for any show. And I'm gonna I'm gonna ramble a little bit, which will be good. <coughs> Regardless of if you're a fan of the franchise or not, I know Star Wars can be very polarizing. Uh, one more to go. Dealing with the orders of the night wind to say, I think we just saw that one. That's all right. Ooh, here we go. We got another of the villains and heroes. 
of Garza Whip. Does she look familiar? I actually don't even know who uh, who is in the show. Ooh, I see a number. Very nice. You go there. But we got a number, and it's a green, I'm going to assume. And it's Baby Yoda, I know, Grogu. But 37 of 75? I'd say that is a hit. Newly acquired speeder bikes and the Mandalorian on the hunt. But again, to go back to what I was saying, if you're not that huge, of, or even if you're a fan or not, you do have to appreciate the aesthetics. Like, this may be a hot take for some people. I am not a Game of Thrones fan. Uh, I have watched two episodes. One of my friends said, you know, at least watch two. And I'll just flip through these while I do. Ooh, Sarlacc Pit. And I tried. While I didn't go for the content, the one thing I truly... I'm getting another blue. Woo! Time out. Time out in story. Concept art. Oh, that is awesome! So we got a concept art of the Rancor on the... That is sweet looking. And I like that. But this goes back to my point. Game of Thrones. Uh, did not care for the plot, did not care for whatever, but the one thing I will say is they made a beautiful, beautiful looking TV show. So that's kind of where I am with uh, all the Star Wars stuff. Like, I may not be the biggest fan, but I definitely appreciate the work that goes into it and the acting especially because I think uh, the people in uh, The Mandalorian have done a really good job in the two seasons I've seen. A Rancor gift from the... Man, they are... The Rancor is following me around. Let's hope it just stays in the box and he doesn't show up at my door. Taking on the Scorpionek droid. Imprisoned by the Tuscans. I'm guessing... Purple? Purple numbered? I'm going to have to go through these. But either way, that's my thoughts. Ooh, Creatures and Aliens of... Wart. Oh, there he... Oh, he looks like, um... Species name at the time. Tatooine weren't used as an extendable. Okay, so yeah, I was gonna say I remember that from the movie, the old uh, Jabba the Hutt thing. Taunted by the Tuscan child, little jerk, and meeting Garza Whip again. So we're about halfway, and but that's that's it. So like I say, the I will I do appreciate the look of Game of Thrones. I know that the last season kind of went off the uh, the deep end. I guess that would be because he hadn't finished the books and just told the directors to do what they do. And uh, when they don't have an original idea, that's what happens. Boba Fett briefs his crew on the Pike threat. Duel with Paz Vizsla. Yeah, the twins. What is this wizardry? Alright, this is some lore that I have, uh, Jabba the Hutt's cousins, okay, arrived to lay claim to the late Jabba's holdings. Oh! They tried to claim everything from his palace to Garza's sanctuary, learning of the Pike's interest, they withdrew, gifting Boba Fett with a rancor. Alright, well, see, this is lore that I'm missing, because I don't, I don't know what's going on, so bear with me. See another blue? We're seeing a lot of the same cards. The local crime bosses of Tatooine. Hmm. Ah, I couldn't think of a joke in time. Displaying the power of the Jedi. And I've seen... Ooh, this one's thick. That one's going last. I felt the thick boy. Felt the thick boy. We got three more packs and then Chungus in there. Ooh, here we go. The Return of Cad Bane. First time I saw that in the earlier card, I thought it was going to say Bad Kane. The Pike Leader under attack. A blue displaying the power of the Jedi. I love these concept arts. I will say that. What's this one? Taking down the Sarlacc. Man, we're getting some good ones. We're getting some really good concept art. And then... Uh, the Major Domo flees in his land speeder. You know, I don't think I've ever actually seen the term Major Domo written. In the Armorer in Exile. Come on. Two more and then some thick boy. 
recovering in the back to tank. I think you can get that out in uh, California these days. The Gamorians meet their new master. Okay. Emergence from the Sarlacc Pit. I love it. And just a little twinge of uh, the color to mean it might be of the different subset. Woo-hoo! Another of Boba Fett's arsenal. The Mandalorian armor, which is... Boba Fett's Mandalorian armor once belonged to his father, Jango Fett. Though he lost the armor to, Jawa, to the Jawas... In the sands of Tatooine, Fett later reclaimed it from the Mandalorian Din Djarin. Din Djarin? Djarin? I don't know. Can't remember. 8D8. Can't remember if he was in the Mandalorian or not. And Boba Fett's starship rains down fire. Penultimate pack. And I just realized, man, I really need to, uh... Hey, look, it's uh, these guys again. Laying claim to Jabba's legacy. We got eight eighty eights briefing. Yeah, hey, little Grogu, baby Yoda. He's so cute. He's so cute. I do need to pick up on my Star Wars lore. I am seriously behind. Cobb Vanth and the Mandalorian. Boba Fett's final step. And Fennec Shand recovers from her injuries. Last pack, and I do feel something major thick in here, and... As luck would have it, for, well, we'll see. I still have this uh, divider from the Chronicles Wrestling. Let's see if I can, yep, I can bury it, and I have not seen it. Hopefully you guys didn't either. New allies. Ooh. Looks like, um, if, uh, oh, what were the ones from Star Trek? Easy, easy, easy. Uh, the Kling, it's like Klingon meets, uh, Meets the, uh, the Wookiees. Boba Fett seeks help for Fennec Shand. Another, the heroes and, hey, there she is again. The heroes and the villains. A blue of the local crime bosses of Tatooine. Cobb Vanth and the Mandalorian. I wonder if any of these actors sign. We're gonna find out. Luke Skywalker with Grogu in tow. And the final one, if I did it right, yes, it is... As you can see, a thicken. And it's upside down, but it's Boba Fett. God, I am freaking imbecile. Woo! Ooh! Ooh! I like that. Meet the new boss. Boba Fett lives. That is... He received a, the Book of Boba Fett commemorative patch card. <coughs> Excuse me. It does not appear to be numbered, but I don't care because that is really nice. I really, really like that. And I actually had a blast doing this set. Hopefully you guys did as well. I would say, well, clearly one of the two big hits, the patch, and our numbered 37 of 75 of Baby Yoda making his choice. On, I'm going to assume some sort of green parallel, but there's all kinds of good stuff. A nice mix of some Star Wars stuff that I actually kind of knew and enough of the new stuff to make me realize uh, kind of how in the dark I am. But that aside, this was still a blast. I hope everybody enjoyed it. Let me know what you think down below. And tomorrow, you know what it is tomorrow. That's right. The wheel is back tomorrow. So I'll see you then.